Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial, I actually got asked to make this. Like, literally someone DM'd me asking if I could make a 2FA tutorial on Rec.net. It was kind of strange and the fact that people don't know how to turn on such an important feature is kind of crazy to me. If you guys don't know what 2FA or two-factor authentication is, basically it's like a second password, but instead you use a code from an authenticator website or app and you just kind of put that in. It's real high and advanced and super important if you want to guarantee your account safety. As you guys know, a lot of people steal a lot of stuff online and you don't know if your account could be at risk. Data leaks and hacked Recom accounts happen all the time, so it's best to stay safe. Anyways, let's hop into this tutorial. Now let's assume you're on the basic Rec.net page. When on this page, you'll basically want to go to that gear icon on the left side of your page that's right under your name. Then when you're inside your actual settings, you'll want to go to password slash 2FA. When doing so, you'll see this button that says enable 2FA, go ahead and do that. Now, in this step, you have to register an actual authenticator app. I use my mobile phone, you guys can use any sort of device if you guys really want to, it just has to be an actual app. You can find some pretty good ones on the app store, at least for iOS I know, and probably Samsung as well. Though I don't know the risks that would come with that, so please, you know, just take that with a grain of salt. I use a free authenticator app and it's worked out great, at least in my experience. I don't know or notice anything crazy, but it is up to your personal taste. Now from this, you'll be able to actually scan a QR code or enter in any of the following codes. In doing so, and you have your authenticator app installed, you'll have to set it up on your authenticator app and you'll probably have it all set up on that. Then you can move on to next and it'll say verify. You'll then enter your six digit code with your authenticator app obviously, just to clarify and make sure that you're all connected and then it'll take you to backup. Backward passwords for you to actually use, so it's best to actually list them, write them down inside your notes or whatever, but um, just be sure to have these actually noted. Because if you lose the device and then you lose this actual authenticator code, you at least have the backup passwords just in store for you. But if you lose those as well, you're gonna have to contact support to actually get your account back. And yeah, that's pretty much how you enable 2FA on your actual account and, you know, guarantee your account, you know, some extra security. So I mean, would you rather not spend 5 minutes out of your day to guarantee some extra security for your personal stuff? I would think so. Recom accounts are valuable, people. Think about how much money you spend on cosmetics or tokens. It's crazy. It's crazy. But um, yeah, hope this video helped. And um, be sure to let me know if you guys actually knew about this. Do you guys already have two-factor authentication installed? Be sure to let me know and uh, what are your guys' thoughts? As always, once you guys leave in your comments down below, I'll be sure to see you guys all inside the next video. And without any further ado, be sure to subscribe and punch that like button as it's very important to do so. See you guys all inside the next video. And without any further ado, Profist.